Well, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Portugal Design Works. My name is Rick, I'm 27 years old. I'm a welder fabricator. I build gates, I install them, I paint them, I repair them, um, I weld metal. If you're into that shit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the bell button for upcoming videos. Um, in this channel, basically I just like to show you guys what I do. So in case you're, you're thinking about getting into this trade, so you can have something in your mind, like an avenue to go to. There's a lot of different avenues you could chase. You could be a pipeliner, you could be a structural welder, you could be a mobile welder, rig welder, shop welder, you know. Um, All right, guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing pickets. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen the pickets that have like the arrow on top. We're gonna be doing those pickets. Um, the way that you do those pickets, um, you usually buy them in the material shop. But if it's just a small gate, and you don't have time to go to the material shop and have them punctured, punched, or whatever they're called, smashed. Um, I'm gonna show you a quick little way to do it. Um, it is a little time consuming if you're thinking about doing a big ass gate. I mean, it's possible, I've done it before. Uh, but this is just a little trick to help you guys on your gates or whatever you're, it is that you're doing. Right? All right guys, so if you're not familiar, with building gates and shit like that if you're barely learning this is what i'm talking about this picket i know you guys seen them around before everywhere a lot of residential houses have them so it went from that to that honestly all i used was that and that check this out guys i just found that the tree trunk i found it a couple of days ago i found that tree trunk a couple of days ago and I, I, I like some guys some landscapers that were trimming trees and shit and I, I seen they had a lot of tree trunks and you know what well, I'd be forging metal and shit I'd be banging on metal smashing that shit so I figured I, I, I need another one because I, I like Louis Sergio he hooked me up with a smaller we'll one we're we'll about to find out how much this shit measures because honestly I don't even know it measures 21 inches 21 inches by like Shit, give me a minute you guys All right guys, so it measures 21 inches by 15 inches That's what I use as an anvil. It's actually a weight. It's pretty solid nothing but solid metal um, Anvils are pretty pricey now. So yeah guys, this is the picket that we're gonna be using to do that all right guys so basically all you have to do you could smash it like that you know you could smash it like that if you want but then um this picket might be a little cricket it might be slanted like that and you want it to be nice and straight so when you weld them everything could be straight you know so the way that i do it i like to cut it in the center about to like right here both sides obviously because the disc is going to go in so when i do smash it with the hammer bam, bam, it, it could just go straight down and it won't go sideways or whatever all right so that's what we're going to be doing today All right, guys, so we're gonna come down over here. I don't know if you guys could see that I cut it. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna smash it, all right? Okay. 
So this is what we have. It's already squished. All right, look at that. So now all we're gonna do is cut it with the grinder. Shape it. All right, we're gonna give it that look. After we cut it with the grinder, we're gonna use a buffer, smooth it out. So it could look like this one. All right, guys? All right, guys. So look. I already cut it off. Now we're just gonna use a buffer, kind of buff it out a little bit. All right, guys. So there we have it. Now we have a picket, smashed picket. You can always weld this right here. But honestly, you don't really need it. If you smash it good, you shouldn't have a problem. Let's see how it looks sealed. But yeah, guys, that's the way you smash a picket, all right? So if you don't have the money, if you're building your own game, you don't have the money to go pay the guy to punch your to smash your pickets, or if you don't have the time to go because you're over here busy, you know, and it's a couple pickets that you could do. Why not do them yourself? You know, it's a little time consuming, but if you're a worker, if you're a good worker, you're gonna get to it and you're gonna get the job done. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah guys if you're new to my channel my name is rick i'm 27 years old like i said before i'm a welder fabricator if you're into that shit, hit the like button the subscribe button i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time man